Hey everybody and welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. A while ago we did a video on a Mantis Uthika. And um we said that we'd keep a few of the babies until the, and try to get them to adulthood. Well, since it's been a while, I thought we should show you the babies and continue doing updates on them. They live in here and we give them fruit flies to eat. And we had to move the enclosure inside because the weather was blowing it around. So, it's been a while and we only have three mantises left. We've lost a few of them due to predation from the others, and we're, since they're much bigger now, we don't know if they're a male or female, and we want to make sure that they get to adult size, we're going to move them into, us, into their own separate enclosures, and since they also got bigger, they graduated from flute flies to crickets. This one literally just molted, that's why it's nice, big, and shiny. And, yeah, so now I'll show the moving of the enclosures. So we set up this smaller butterfly enclosure with some sticks and we're going to put in this solidified water so the crickets and maybe the mantis have something to drink. Now let's put in one of the smaller mantises. And we'll set up another similar enclosure for the other smaller mantis. So we have two left, and this is the bigger of the two, and it just recently molted. This one has, after just recently molting, it got its green, and we're pretty sure this one is a male because it has wings that go past its abdomen, which is a defining feature of male mantises. This is the smaller of the two, and it also molted. This one has small wings, which is a defining feature of the females, but since it is a couple molts behind from being a full-grown adult, we are not quite sure. Since this one is behind on molting, we're going to give it some extra food so it can grow quicker. So we're down to one adult mantis left because the other one died of a bad molt. And because it's the end of summer and don't have a mate for it, we're going to let the last one go. Before you do that, we're gonna give it one last, we're gonna try and give it one last cricket so it has something to eat before we let it go into the wild and has to fend for itself. Now we're in the same location that we talked about the Uthika that he hatched out of. And we're going to release him on this fig bush. Come on, be free. Find a mate. Try not to get decapitated. So thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.